Hi everyone! So I'm here today with the Hunger Games inspired um, log. So it's um, the main character Katniss Everdeen. In the last scene, she was actually wearing um, the peacock paper lashes and I just got really excited. And then, But hers was a very new look. So, But I decided to go for a more um, louder look. Because one, reason one, because I just got my sugar pill, uh, sugar pill stuff. And then next, I, she was named the girl on fire. So I just decided to do a very flame inspired look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. We'll start by using a base all over the face. I'm using my Studio Fix foundation with my foundation brush. I think I'm totally in the shower. Yes. Should go in a random direction so that it doesn't look streaky. Next concealer. I'll be using my fingers to apply it and to just tap it into my skin instead of swiping it on. This way you can get more coverage out of your concealer. I'll be using my Urban Decay D Slick Powder with a brush to set in my foundation and concealer. <clears throat> For brows, I'll be using the colour Busted from the Naked 2 palette using my angled brush to fill them in. The colour is Busted? Yes, Busted. B-U-S-T-E-D. Oh, right. I want it to be a slightly more intense than, than usual. I'll be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lids. Not forgetting under. And I finally got my sugar pill, so I'll be using from the Sweetheart palette, the colour Taco, the white. I'll just be pressing it all over the lid to create a good base for my colours to build on. So that the colours will really, really pop. Next, from the Burning Heart palette, I'll be using the orange colour called Flame Point. Just loading my brush up. And just focusing on the, like, the middle to outer corner of the eyelids. Keep it within the crease. Using a fluffy brush, I'll just soften the corners of it. Next, taking um, the colour Buttercup Cake is the very nice bright yellow. So that brush and focus it on the inner corners of the eyes. And just bring it under the eyes slightly. And then we're taking the the red colour called Love Plus. And I just put it at the outer corners of the eyes. i 
we going for a more cat eye um, shape today. So just draft out the colour slowly and then when you're really sure then you just um, set to pack on the colours. When you're done you just start to blend up the top part to soften the edges. Next, taking my black colour Elena and Zero, I'll just be tight lining my eyes. And just right line the waterline as well. Next, I'll be lining my eyes with um, gold pigments from MAC using um, just a normal small brush. Go nuggets. So first, just wet the brush with some water. Make it damp. <clears throat> then just um, take some of the product. Then just start lining the eyes with the gold. So this is with the liner, really brightens up the eyes. Yeah, I like it. To highlight um, my eyebrow, eyebrow bones, brow bone. <laughs> to highlight my brow bone, I'll be using the colour I'm baked from the naked, first naked palette. But they're in both naked palettes anyway, so just take a bit of product and just Put it at the brown bone. You just want like a subtle tinge of like reflective colour thingy there. You don't want it to be like too crazy. Because the eyes are already quite crazy but it's nice. I like it. Slightly crazy. <laughs> I'm using my paper lashes. Uh, the small peony. So yes. Uh, they are paper lashes but they I've actually only used like one pair so far. Like for quite a lot of occasions actually. So I uh, used it about five, six times. Just gotta be really careful and not tear them and just um but they're not as fragile as, you know, really paper paper as you if you were really scared to get them. So So you can actually slightly like bend them first into like a more like fan out shape. So that it will go on more nicely. Because if it's just flat, it will just be like eh. Whoa. Every time you reuse your paper lashes, just make sure you pull out the glue when it's dry. So you won't have like this lump of like blob of black thing in there. And it won't look nice when it goes on. So yeah, that's like my tips on using paper lashes. I don't know if it's very helpful, but I guess I hope it is. Okay. Oh, damn! I forgot to totally wear mascara. <gasps> no. Okay. Okay. You should turn it from blue or something since you fell everything. No, I stopped just now. Oh. Oh, fail in life. Okay. <clears throat> Curl your lashes. Yes. I'm using my Lancome um, mascara. This is from my like travel travel kit thingy, and I have no idea how to pronounce it. And you can. Go ahead and laugh at me, at my pronunciation, but yes. It's called Virtuos. 
I don't know how to pronounce it, it's just there, okay? Just read it for yourself. I'll put it in the description box below. Anyway, I really like it, so it's like... Like, really, gives you really fluttery lashes. Okay, Andrea is really sniggering in the background, if you can't really hear. Laughing at my... Poor... Pronunciation skills. I'm also laughing at some of the things that really are dumb, so stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. If you say so. Don't forget your lower lash. I kind of really like this um, mascara, but they're really expensive in full size. It's like fifty-two dollars, and you gotta throw them out after like eight months anyway. So it's like ah, sigh, nothing to see. Apply your paper lashes. Andrea has a theory that she says that if you put a layer of <clears throat> that we could put a layer of like nail polish like top coat on it and it'll matte top coat. Like the matte top coat and it'll look nicer. As in it'll, it'll last longer, I mean. But I will not sacrifice my paper lashes for that kind of experiments. So yes. So just adjust it until you is the position you want. Just make sure it's even, like on both sides. Okay, I have very something. I have very something. Okay, no, I have something very exciting to tell you. I just went to Sephora today and went a bit crazy because they sent me an SMS saying that I had seventy two dollars. I was I'm seventy two dollars away from my next forty dollar voucher, and you have to spend like hundred and fifty dollars to get the forty dollar voucher. So naturally, I went down to Sephora and Ion, and then I bought like seventy one dollars worth of things just to get the forty dollar voucher. And I got this. It's my Urban Decay Afterglow Glide On Cheek Tint. I got it in Score, cause uh, I tested out the the color in Quickie in my previous video. I can't remember which one. But I I really like it and it's like cream. Look at that, how gorgeous is that? Anyway, so I'm just gonna use a stippling brush to apply it as a blush. So I just like stick a little bit because you know, you never know how intense that is. And just like put it on. Oh no colour. I'm just gonna go in my my clean finger. There's a slight shimmer in it, but I guess it's good because it's like gives you that glow like when you get out of bed and you just feel like crap and you just don't feel good at all and you just look like a pale zombie or vampire like I always do every morning so I need to put on blush and I think this is a good natural flush look so I was like yes I like it so this is my new score Urban Decay Glide On After Glow Glide On Cheek Tint yes I like it okay now for lips I'm using the NYX Jumbo eye pencil, yes, eye pencil in yellow for my lips because it's suggested by entry. <laughs> I have no idea how this would look like, so... <laughs> get me later. <laughs> I'm a bit apprehensive, but yes, I'll just do it. Okay. I think it's not working. I look like a naughty girl that ate all the like the yellow stuff, you know, like the yellow candy. <laughs> I feel like we need a poo eating all the honey. I'll do orange it though. I'll just put a bit of butter butter cupcake on my lips. I thought you doing orange. Oh yeah, orange. Oh sorry. I'll be putting flame point. I'm sorry. Mm, I think I should put it with gloss. What do you think? My goodness. So impromptu. 
Andreas Dior Kiss Gloss in 008. It's called something sorbet. Sorry? Yeah, sorbet meringue. It really smells like sobe. Yeah. No joke, man. Okay, I think I cannot, I cannot brush it on because you brush off the powder. You tap it on. Ah, yeah, whatever lah. Okay. I can't stand this thing. Okay. Then, we are done! Time to release the lion hair. Okay. That's really terrible. <laughs> no beans in this. I don't like using his old hair on my hair. No. Okay. Really bad hair now because of hair bit. Basically, this is the look! I hope you enjoyed it! Thanks! Thank you for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed uh, this look. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe and tell us what you think about this look. And um, sorry, I've just been experimenting a little bit with the lips today and everything. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!